Welcome to Anatomy with Dr. Jasma. Let's talk about the anatomy of erections. Let's look at the external pelvic floor muscles. We have our bulbospongiosis and ischiocavernosis muscles. And that's gonna be more important later. If we take a cross section of the penis, this right here is our corpus cavernosum and then our corpus spongiosum. And now we all know lots of things can cause an erection. It's not always a sexual thought or a sexual innuendo. Sometimes it is just different bodily functions and that's okay. But on a scientific level, what happens is the arteries from the penis, they fill the corpus cavernosum and to a lesser degree, the corpus spongiosum with blood. Then that, pu that bulbo spongiosis muscle and ischiocavernosis muscles contract, and that's what traps the blood inside the penis, resulting in the erection. And as long as that hormone response is still there, this will still be vasodilated, so blood can still come in, but it's not gonna go out. And then after that hormonal response is over, the veins relax, that allows blood flow to exit the penis, and then the penis is no longer erect. 